host Dave Schulte here with the Twin Home Experts. Just wanted to go ahead and take a moment and answer the question that we get a lot. Am I covered under my insurance policy for a slab leak? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over some different scenarios to give you a better insight as to uh, really what's covered, when you should really file the claim, and when you should not file the insurance claim. Because I have a lot of customers that just because they have a slab leak, they automatically call their insurance company. The insurance company comes out and denies them coverage. And I'm going to go over that here a little bit later. So hopefully this is informative information before you make that phone call. All right. So in this particular situation right here, we have a slab leak that the customer uh, walked into the kitchen and felt the floor warm. Not necessarily any water coming through the floor, but it was warm. So that's a sign that you do have a slab leak, especially if you've never felt a uh, your flooring warm. Um, that's uh, an indication that you've got that slab leak. So the first step you want to do is just go to your water meter and take a look to see if that dial is moving. All right. So in respect to the insurance company, what they're really looking for and what they're covering is actually damages to the property. So in this particular situation, because there's tile floor and it's just warm, there's really okay. no... So the next step then would be to determine if your cabinetry is wet, because again, we're looking for damages. Uh, this is a moisture meter. I love this tool because it really gives you a idea if the cabinetry, walls, baseboards, hardwood floors get wet. Uh, there's no guessing. Insurance love this tool as well because it would put off a red light. Okay, They want pictures of that. So in other words, let's check here. As you can see, it's dry. Dry, dry, and dry. So this area here has no signs of moisture. And what that relates to is no damages thus far. The only damages that we're looking at right now really is to open this floor up and do the repair. I don't advise that, especially if you plan on living in the house. I really encourage you to get a leak detection company out, figure out where all the pipes run out of, uh, underneath the house, and just see if you can do a reroute. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this situation. Especially if uh, your deductible is uh, very high. So if you've got a $5,000 deductible, and you only have this area here that has no water damage, but you're gonna dig down it's not even worth filing an insurance claim. So the deductible really is uh, really important for you to get. Uh, I like to see deductibles around $500 in this particular situation would make sense. But also too, if you just do a dig, you're only gonna replace this much piping. You're leaving the remaining old pipe that's vulnerable to leaking. So again, you might want to consider not filing the insurance claim, being that you don't have any damages, and then just investing in doing a reroute, which would be a permanent solution. Now let's go to a, uh, a leak that's in a hardwood floor situation. All right guys, so now here we are in a uh, dining room with hardwood floors. Pipe here, leaked. So completely, completely soaked. Now, as you can see here, if you mind, this is all hardwood floors in this room here, okay? So technically, these floors have to come up. Now, again, if your deductible's 500 or $1,000, the insurance company will cover all of the hardwood floor uh, either refinishing or replacement. So again, that's what the insurance is going to cover is damages to the hardwood floors. They have to put your house back to its original state. 
drywall patching, baseboards, um, move out as well, they will cover all of those expenses on a slab leak. So the point I'm trying to make is look at and assess the damages before you place that call to your insurance company. If you hire a professional that understands insurance uh, coverage, you might want to consider hiring a professional that has that experience. They're going to be able to guide you and be able to facilitate your insurance claim so much easier versus just relying on your insurance company to come out. Uh, so anyhow, folks, uh, slab leaks are covered by insurance, but you got to make sure and look at your damages versus your deductible. Hopefully this helped. As always, thanks for watching.